What's up, everyone? It's FMV. Back again. You thought I was gone, but no. I was merely, uh, uh very busy. It's been a busy month. But, we're back again to play more of this kind of bad game. Uh, I had to mute far it from while the, I was doing the stream. It's far trip. from the worst that you've played on. That's definitely... We, we established that last year. Yeah, that's definitely true. Oh, Maxwell Elvis doesn't even know. Wow, a game that Maxwell Elvis, or is that is Maxwell Elvis doing a bit that I is Maxwell Elvis doing a reference that I don't understand? Troll code, can you tell me? You have to tell me. It, I think, I think Maxwell Elvis is just surprised at the puppet show. That's I'm, right. This one's a puppet show. Yeah, I just I'm shocked to hear of a game that Maxwell Elvis doesn't know about that that's like you know in FMV's retinue. Yeah, and it's like... Yeah. It's... It is it's an Invader's the sequel. Right. It's the sequel to Captain Blood. Have you... Have you heard of that? Yeah. It is like a French-made game. And also, this game had a sequel that is only available in French, called The Big Bug Bang. And I'm really sad that I don't know French, so I can't play it. Uh, never been a better time to learn French than the present. And you are moving to France, right? To no. My understanding. What? That's not what the. That's well, not what this I, whole moving thing has been. You have been moving to France. Every time I load this game, I hit the menu button, forgetting <laughs> that it's a stupid joke. That hitting menu gives you a joke recipe menu of food that you can't actually get. <laughs> next, the next episode. Such a good bit. Such a good bit. Yeah, okay. This is just the one where I go to the... Yeah, so, um... Wait a second. Before we go in, do you, maybe you want to do, like, a recap? Yeah, uh, so... For our, for our viewers just tuning in. Of, yeah, um... The, the story so Captain far. Blood. Okay, so... Oh, no, no, no not, of, not of Captain Blood. Of... Uh, every FMV game you did last year. Yeah. So Commander Blood is a game where you are the clone of Bob Morlock, the protagonist of... I think you're a clone? It doesn't matter. You're like a weird cyborg flesh thing that's working for Bob Morlock, who is the previous game's protagonist, who is now old and owns a corporation and is like, uh, super rich. And he wants you to take him to the Big Bang, so you have to go... He's stuck in cryo-freeze, so he doesn't die of old age. Um, because he's like the oldest being alive. And so you have to go and find black holes to go back in time to go to the Big Bang. Problem is, uh, you don't know where the black holes are. And so, this launch is a completely... Hang on, this is an old... Hang on, someone just... just someone just passed by. A anyway, uh... The you go around and do a bunch of nonsense like an adventure game. You the way that you progress this game is ex only through dialogue. All of the shit is dialogue related. You just have to exhaust every dialogue option and then do it again everywhere and just sort of randomly hop around until you get to the right sequence of events that gets you to the progression. Because this game is completely inane and you talk to a bunch of puppets and you accumulate robots. And occasionally you go into your ro one of your robot's brain zone, and you play a fucking mini game where you're a floating hand, and it's completely silent. And you pick up little guys on your finger, and then you put them on a manta ray, and then you get points, and you could use those points to get hints to play the game. Because otherwise, the game is completely insufferable and basically com like arcane and impossible to know what you're doing. Uh, and basically. Uh, I don't really know if there's that many important plot beats that I could repeat because a lot of it's just a name bullshit, but basically we helped out a bunch of guys who seemed like they sucked and it turns out that they did because we freed a criminal and told uh, a <laughs> weird creepy surgeon that uh, where a bunch of like kid slimes were and so the kid slimes got kidnapped and the 
terror, the like evil guy who we freed from prison is also freed, and they went into a black hole to like avoid being caught by the space police. So now Which we're going back to telling us where the black hole was. Yeah. So basically, what we did was we let a bunch of bad shit happen so we could find the black hole. Great. Really, just great strategy. Yeah, but now that we're time traveling, we're gonna overwrite all of that. I'm sure. Yeah, because it's yeah. So it's like fine. Uh, and y yeah, what what? There's so many fucking like fetch quests in this game. Like it's entirely Let's that's the go. only thing it has is fetch quests. It's literally just nothing but person says, hey, I want this thing. Will you go get it for me? And yeah. then you go somewhere else and you get it for them. And you come back and you give it to them. It does have this and fun, like, it. diegetic UI, though. Oh, I'm getting a phone oh, call. Oh, yeah, it's, it's got pizzazz out the wazoo. That's it's very... The telephone, funny. Riley. Oh, yeah, sometimes a uh, version, an alternate player playing the same game that gives you a hint. Oh, also there's a guy called Beauregard who we helped uncover a cur who got cursed in an ancient tomb for us. Anyway, let's watch TV. You were officially cursed! No! Curse! No! My TV got cursed! My TV! He's normal man. No. Just innocent man. Who? This is the worst curse possible. I can't watch any of my favorite shows. Chicago style hot dog alert. 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 This is such a long redeem. Shrimp. It's so long. What the heck is this? There's nothing out here. I talked to Burgard about how my TV got cursed. Everything is stored in your cryo box. Every item and also a bunch of people you just keep in your fridge. This is the cursed mummy. He's <laughs> one tough repair job. All right, okay. Yeah, we have an AI named Honk who sucks ass. I really hate him. He's kind of racist. It's kind of racist. I don't know what's changing. Ah, scary. I always get scared by this guy. Ah, <laughs> come on, girl, I'm blasted. blasted. <laughs> He's fucking blasted out the wazoo. He's b b blasted. He got high on mummy snuff. H H H H H H H Me when it's the mummy's curse. Anyway, this is the cutscene for going back at the time. It's not even that big of a deal. It's not even an event, really. This game wasn't made by Shiny by any chance? I don't know what that is. Like, what the company is. Yeah, it's been long enough since I booted up the- since we booted up the game that I don't remember what the producer's name were. Oh yeah, so, uh, Mill, there is also this, like, dolphin that you fly into when you want to leave the ship. You talk to your space dolphin that, like, lets you land for some fucking reason. That's, like, very Mill core. I know that the company that made this game is French. Also, fuck, this is like an evil version of that planet we were in the future. But, and by evil, I mean blue and scary. <laughs> this is boat. Yo! This guy is amazing! Fifi, I love Fifi. you! Fifi, I love you! Fifi, I love you! 
Yes! If you feel like gift, I'll give you all my possessions. You, but no! No! I don't have bad vibrations! No! Scramble Fifi's mind. Well, then you can refuse, right? Oh, thanks. There's a Spectre Jerry Crown on the shark. Through the black hole, an amazing experience, Commander. I think uh, I think let's go let's go check out the female Trump before we check out. Obviously. Right. I mean, fetch quests have done us so well. Irrelevant fetch quests doing favors for random people for no reason has I'm, worked out. I'm not even so doing a well favor. I'm just going to this person's house that he told me about. Like he didn't. He said, like he didn't tell me to do that. I'm just doing it. Whoa. Super Mario Galaxy ass planet. Yeah. God. Isn't this female Trump? Gaga. Gah. Ga 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 ga. 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 <laughs> you look like you have an evil eye! You look like you're under a spell! What do you mean? Oh, I am under a curse, I suppose. Then I didn't mean to. Regard did it. We were just to hang out with Fred Beauregard. Like, where's the doctor? Fly by night pizza delivery services. These people print flyers with very legitimate sounding names and sneak into lodging properties by impersonating guests and place flyers under the doors of the guest rooms. Do not, under any circumstances, order a pizza from one of these flyers. You may be giving your credit card number to a criminal on a cell phone. At best, if you are delivered a pizza, it will likely be very low quality and it may have been made in someone's garage, or worse. If your lodging property has an agreement just, with a legitimate pizza delivery vendor, they, you will surely find that information that displayed inside your room in a logical call, location, money, such as on the desk, TV, or in a directory a pizza, of services. Approved like, legitimate uh, pizza I, I, vendors will never place flyers pizza. on the floor just inside your door. Remember, never order pizza from flyers <laughs> found on the floor just inside your door. Never do it. It's as simple as that. Honestly, now I'm thinking, like, could I just start a business that way? Like, if I was not making a dubious quality pizza, would that be wait, illegal? Wait, what, wait, Troka, where did the sorcerer go? I did medicine one more time, the sorcerer got deleted. What the fuck happened? Troka, did I just, like, soft lock myself? I don't know. I'm not looking at a walkthrough. Uh. Hopefully, just reset everything. It does seem like it.
Man, remember when the sound of honk was like absolute abject horror and now it's just sort of like I love this show. Th thanks, Dale. Uh remember when it was just like the worst noise and now it's just like I'm so used to it that it's like, oh, that's normal. It's a normal noise to hear, and then occasionally I remember that it sounds like uh someone is like using a like motorized whisk on a fucking plate. Yeah. Where is the sorcerer? Where- Where is the sorcerer? Tell me where the sorcerer is! Crazy is... stone! Crazy stone! Please, I need to go to- I need to go to crazy stone. I need to go to the sorcerer. I need sorcerer medicine! I love this trump. I mean, that- I gotta be honest, that stone looks pretty crazy. <laughs> like... They that- that didn't. looks like a crazy stone. Like, look at it! That's crazy! To me, it's normal. <laughs> to me, that's normal stone. You're the troker. The troker. Neil Young and Crazy Stone. <laughs> but I need my sorcerer medicine. But you're gonna have a fetch quest for it. You know it. You know it. It's the curse of the moment you've been a camp for the Pentecost! <laughs> We got it cursed by a mummy from a <laughs> But we went back in time to before he died and became a mummy. <laughs> this guy's name is Super Zen. Okay, so... <laughs> I just want to address the curse of the mummy of Betacam 4 of the Patagos is like, oh, that's peak shit. That's great. I love the curse of the thing of the thing of the thing. Like, it's just so inconvenient to say and long-winded and stupid, and it's great. Uh, I think you, I think much? you got the ship. Oh, wonderful. But then you're gonna get an egg curse! I really need to stop getting curses. You just said that, honk. In, like, plain English. Yeah. I imagine it probably has more significance if you know anything about the universe that this is in. Great York is probably like kind of significant. This is like the progression is happening. Like I'm not like I'm just doing it, which is nice. It's nice to have the game actually like feel reasonable in that sense. I'm excited to get soft locked again. <sighs> this planet is very meaty. Oh, never mind. It's not. It just looked very meaty from far away. Yeah, there's a lot of mine tunnel cutscenes. Oh fuck! It's the scrock or whatever. Yo, -ho -ho! he's wearing sunglasses. No fucking way. Holy shit! Troka, he's wearing sunglasses! I love that little doodly do on the- that little wave on the bottom of his animation on the left there. Yeah, cause he's like just- it's like a hanging puppet 
so they can't actually use an idle animation that's that long, so it's just like four frames looping. Back and forth. Back and forth. One plus one equals three thanks to the coefficient of reproduction. Silence feeds on sound and fury. Takes 13 merfloes to reproduce, but one day it will take 14. What? Ah, this is how we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it for, um... What can we help to decide? An important thing. We're gonna get this for Cat and Blood, and that'll make him immortal. Yeah. Also, am I gonna go find the Great Yolk, too? No, the remains of the Great Yolk, which you're gonna disturb no. and get accursed. No, I mean, I'm gonna go back in time again to go find the Great Yolk. Uh, I think that would increase the length of this game by a full third. I mean, we're only halfway. It's this fucker. This is before he became a salesman. Yeah. He was a museum tour guide. Of course I'll light a candle. I can see his tomb, but not the painting? Oh, you're gonna have to travel forward. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the great yolk is very, uh, very space balls. You know, go back in there. I bet there's more to do. <laughs> so, do just sometimes have to do that. Yeah, I'm not going off a walkthrough or anything. Just like, yeah, sometimes. Because it's a dialogue-based game, uh, they do just, like, make you do the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Nothing. That's a reference to another great F and B hit. Hey, Inspector. Uh, could you help me steal a painting? Yeah, could you help me do a really horrible crime, please? Yeah, like a sacred painting at that. Yeah, like, can you help me like steal like? The whole Sistine Chapel. Whoa, oh, this is kind of scary. Why is this so scary? Can you help me kidnap baby Jesus? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Whoa, he's moving! Crazy adventure! Wait, is that separate from Vista? Of course. Vistar and Vista. Are you fucking <laughs> serious? <laughs> I love when he schmoves!
You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> They're so close. <laughs> this game is so fucking stupid. And they look almost identical. Okay. Okay. That warning sound bite sent me down a rabbit hole. Thought you would like to know that. Oh, I see. I'm glad that you you uh, learned about <laughs> fly by night pizza delivery. It's important to know. It's an instructional PSA. Yeah, it's a warning from Cable 2. Cable 2 supports this message. Hey, Choker, you heard about uh, Drawing a Jillian? Choker? said no, what happened? Uh, he like, fell off a boat or something. They think he's dead. I think he's dead. I fell off a boat once, and I'm not dead. Did you, like, go missing for, like, a month? I went inner tubing. So you don't really fall off a boat. The inner tube. After I left the boat and got on the inner tube. I see. An inner tube is basically an extension of the boat. Uh, it didn't take me a month. It didn't take them a month to retrieve me. More like ten minutes. But I suppose in the end, in, in that ten minutes, I was basically dead. Like I was dead in the water, as they say. I see. It seems like all the plant, all the puppets in this one are gonna be Trump. Yeah, I don't mind that though. Yeah, Thael. They, Thael died in the womb, but then they changed the definition of death from like the heartbeat stopping to the brain midway through. <laughs> uh, Thael's heart still hasn't restarted, actually. <laughs> Her blood just kind of sits there, stagnant. Apparently this game is a minister of tourists in Orlando and Myrtle Beach, among other places. I love this show! <laughs> oh my god. I just love the... Riley, you're an adventure game genius. Of course I am. A pretty picture. Is it the Great Yolks painting? The power of a brass horn with the nuances of a woodwind instrument. That's so me. Wow. It's so weird how, like... This is apparently the woman <laughs> of my dreams in game. <laughs> this is a weird Holy elf. Holy smoke! That is some. Uh, that is some deviant arts uh, to stuff. Colored pencils. Yeah. Ooga. It's a. Uh, it's weird how like everything's so wacky and there's so many different cultures and it's all heteronormative. <laughs> Like yeah, I mean, it. yeah, and it presumes fine. that the player is just like a dude. Yeah, though you're not really gendered that often. 
yeah, you're gendered in in so much as it presumes you to be interested in in women in a very straight way. Yeah. Very 90s French sci-fi in that regard, apparently. Uh, what? Who do you mean? You're all alone here! Cruels? What? Fucking Squid Man! I forget if it was a bad guy. This is a guy who we knew. <laughs> it's a dumbass is the thing. This guy does kind of mind play. Uh, remind him of something? What do you mean? It's not He's... how time works! That's not it's how time past. works! He's a hundred thousand years in the past! Listen, look at this. Yeah, that's because I'm from the future. <laughs> Got him. You know, understand. His little thoughts. <laughs> Honk, can you let me do the talking, please? I don't like you. You'd be crazy, okay? Be crazy like that. Crazy. <laughs> Wait, he wants to come with me? Wait, does that mean I can take him? <laughs> I hope you get to go. I hope you get to go back to the future and, and show him to himself. See, Brian Janier. That's a complete nonsense word. No. Oh. You know where the dark. Well, you're not gonna tell me? Okay. No, because you're a bad influence. <laughs> That's true. Uh, where should I go? Maybe back to the original flip? The first one that we went through? Uh... Right, we're trying to steal the yolk. So... Yeah... Let's go back to Crazy Stone. Cause that's where the yolk is, right? Uh, no, the, the, the that's where the corpse is, but the painting is being restored somewhere else that we don't know where it is yet. Oh. Hmm. Oh, and good news, I am not. I am apparently not getting that phone call because it's been it's five minutes after two now. Oh, okay. But would it be okay? Would it be okay with you if I went up to get a cup of coffee? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Man, I wish I could watch TV. But all I can do is go to plants. I can't even watch my favorite shows. I'm not a TV. Well, I guess I kind of am. It's different, though. Oh my god.
the fly by night pizza delivery flyer. That guy knocks me out, Commander. Give you like cake. Oh yeah, I can give him this picture and then he'll be like, oh, this looks like cake. It's fucking stupid ass. This is really like God. He's kissing the he's kissing the picture. Okay. He left. Where'd you go, Beef Beef? Hi, Fifi. Your special it's a blend of cheese. This game does look very good. Okay, Fifi's just leaving now. Oh, but I get a phone call. I wouldn't mind a hint, actually, uh, Honk. I know you said you're doing great, but, like... Definitely. It's not good. You should not order from Fly by Night Pizza Delivery. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I get a bad pizza? Well, no, we're talking about it in the chat. Scammers also that extra level scummy by hiring, like, the really desperate to drop off these flyers, knowing that they could get arrested because that would affect the fake restaurants. And also, sometimes the drop off guys will then try to break in. I'm wondering if, like, Omniscient Guy can help me find the fucking things. Surely an Omniscient Squid Man would st Nope! Okay, nothing. Nothing. Won't let me steal the painting. What the fuck? <sighs> well, Troka, I gave my Jergoff painting to Fifi, and he, he seemed to like it, but then he left. He walked away. Presumably to go do something with the painting that I cannot imagine what he's doing. Uh, but what the fuck was that noise? Toilet. <laughs> Who is in the toilet in my spaceship? Tom. He's frozen. Omniscient guy in my inventory, please solve every puzzle for me. Exactly! Like, why am I out here just fucking walking around, trial and error style? Hey, Troka, give me a walkthrough, please. Okay. For old time's sake. Yeah, we are back. We are in the past right now. Yeah, it's, 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 it's old times. Yeah. Fuck me, I'm so yawning. I'm also pretty fucking sleepy. I'm not sleepy though. I just yawn a lot when I'm on stream. I don't know why. <sighs> oh. Uh, Planet Vista. You're gonna have to activate someone from the cryo box. Okay. I I did go to Planet Vista. Oh, you're gonna have to activate somebody from the cryo box. How do I do that? Because it didn't prompt me to do it. Well, you just go to the cryo box. Oh, right. I have to just be at the Planet Vista and use the cryo box. Okay. Um, can you steal the painting for me, please? 
It's not harm. I can't just give everything away, you know? There's there's a puzzle. A puzzle of I click every option until I find out the right one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guess this is an adventure game. You should be able to figure it out, right? Regard, you love stealing shit, as well. Oh wait, no, he's still blasted. I forgot. <laughs> he's fucking zooted. Off the shits on the Moe's curse. I'm on that shit they call the mummy curse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm selling this. I'm selling this shit called the mummy's curse. You're gonna be so blasted that you'll, uh, all your TV shows will be an evil mummy. You're gonna turn on the TV and all you're gonna see is an evil mummy. That's yeah. That's how high you're gonna get. <laughs> Size eight and a half. Oh, I see. What do you mean, descendant? Yes! Oh my god, he's a burglar robot! Yes! <laughs> Okay, look at this guy. What possible utility does this stuff have? I guess the saw blade you can saw glass open? Question mark. Through drywall. <laughs> okay, go back to Anna Half now. Yeah, I mean obviously. That's that's the one. He's my he's my burglar robot. Yeah, like in, like in Snatcher. An easy job. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see you do it. Let's see you try it, big guy. Joe Biden image. You know the Joe Biden image I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Okay. So I just have to... Okay. Well, I mean, what do I do? I'm glad you like my my funny title, Phil. It's because games done quick as happen. Which I know that you know, but I just wanted to mention, like, in case someone somehow didn't realize that. Yeah, our, our, our friend of the stream who's usually here, Echo, is at Games Done Quick today. Yeah, been visiting it all week. Fuck. Uh, Troka, where do I go while I wait for him to steal the painting? Is there anything else I can do, or do I just have to fly around? Uh, return to, return to the ship and call Anna on the phone. It's going to take some time to travel elsewhere for a bit until you get a call back. Oh my god. Just kill some time! That sucks. Oh, okay. Well, it seems like we killed enough time. No. Oh, nope, guess not. Alright. Time to kill some time! 
Let's go do something. There, we'll, we'll there's kill... not enough that you can even pretend to be progressing. Yeah, let's kill some time by reading out this pizza thing that Maxwell has posted. I'll put it on the stream. Open image and new tab. Well, opening the image a new tab isn't any good on Reddit because it has their own fucking, like, image display shit now, so that you can't zoom in. That sucks ass. Oh, there Do I have to just download the image? I mean, I'm not sure what there's to read. It's just a menu. No, there's... There's some funny jokes. BBQ chicken. Anu taste sensation will know you love. Topped with tangy BBQ sauce, grilled chicken, and our special pizza blended cheese. Well, the thing is, Maxwell, I want to put it on the stream so everyone, watch, everyone can watch. Cheese steak. Take a walk on the yum side. Yummin. Well, and a half did it while we were waiting. Eight, eight and a half is a, is a really fast. It's not yum side, it's yummin. Y -U -M -M. No, it's yum. It's Y-U-M-M-M. -M. No, that's, there's a Y-U-M-N. That's an N. I misread it. Yeah. Y-U-M-N. And there's also who see who see tomatoes? Okay, here we go. Now we can investigate this beautiful image together. So we got barbecue chicken. A new taste sensation we know you'll love. There's also Italian pizza, Italian style, which is just like a great phrase. BLT, so simple, but so amazingly good. It's topped with our special pizza blended cheese and hoosy tomatoes. Take a look at the yum inside. Already, already lost the image. Because I just didn't care that much. There it is. The ah, ah special. <laughs> if you like meat with your pizza, this is for you. Topped with crispy bacon, sausage, pepperoni, and our special pizza blended cheese. I love the ah special. Margarita. Uh, they misspelled it. They used the drink margarita yeah. instead of margarita. I love this meatball and pepperoni description. It's like two, two. Total incredible oh. tastes of one. It's like they're really like desperate. Like they really need to stress this meatball and pepperoni. There's two incredible tastes in one. And the tastes are meatball and pepperoni. Those are like pretty like okay, they're not the same taste, but like they're, they're so both meat, like Total Totally veggie. Tally delicious. Maybe they meant to type Italy delicious. Totally veggily veggie. Italy delicious. Uh, you could buy Gatorade for three dollars. Not in this in this economy. No, no, you can't. Uh, because this is a scam. Fuck me. That sucks. <laughs> I mean, I, I, the, the thing that always gets me about the scam warning is that, like, they don't warn you that they're going to steal your credit card and not give you pizza. They warn you that you're going to get some <laughs> far low quality pizza. Yeah. That's the made game. in their, like, garage. <laughs> I don't know what to, like, zoom in on for this. Which is the, I'm going to do the two incredible tastes of one. No, I'm going to do the ah special.
Yeah, it's just called the ghost kitchen now, and it's just a real thing that happens. Like, it happens all the fucking time. Well, they you well, they give you st food, it's just that they don't have, like, actual kitchens. It's not so much a scam as it is an illusion. Hey, I just gotta pick up my thief robot. My deeply religious thief robot. Uh, this is where Windows Vista got its name. Hey, keep it down! Yeah, can you not yell that? There's... The difference is the difference... Chuck E. Cheese isn't going to hire a burglar to advertise for them. And that's why they're going out of business! Yeah, I... <laughs> they need more desperate... Chuck E. Cheese needs to get desperate, you know? Why did his drawer pull up? Oh, I just realized I was confusing burglar and burger. Classic mistake. <laughs> what do you. How? How did you. What? They need to. They need to serve burgers, not pizzas. Does Chuck E. Cheese not serve burgers? Oh, they're famous for their pizza, though. I feel like they would serve burgers. Did you know? Did, did you know that uh, Chuck E. Cheese has a ghost kitchen called Pasquale's? I didn't. It's true. During the pandemic, they started up a chain called Pasquale's that just serves Chuck E. Cheese pizza, but they don't box it like that because huh. it is embarrassing to get Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Like, as an adult. Yeah. What? That was so good! I love that he rolled over! Yay! I can watch TV again! I don't know if Mr. Burgard is uncursed, to be honest. <laughs> oh my god, am I gonna bring him his own mummy? <laughs> Hey, buddy, here's your corpse. Nobody else should be allowed to have this. I feel like, yeah, it's kind of weird if anyone else has this. Hey, Beauregard, are you still mad cursed? Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still the flames of hell, Commander. Not good. Let's watch TV now that we can. Yeah, maybe it's different in the past. Choka, you have to you have to do the other part. The you you. You you you. What what? What was that? Is it, that was a live-action woman! That was a human woman! Yeah, there is one real live-action person in this game, and I don't know where they are! Three. Oh, this is the only thing on. Let's watch. Man! You, fucking you, real! You, 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 you. You haven't unlocked the other past TV channels yet, Fuck I suppose. Fuck me! I only have future TV channels! I want to talk to Fifi. Does Fifi hate me still? I'm not cursed anymore. Yeah, do you pass the Fifi? vibe check? Can we hang out, Fifi? You're still staring at the jerk-off painting and doing something that I don't know what you're doing.
insane. I love it. Yay! Nice hat! Yay! Fuck, yes! What does it look like? Oh, that's a good hat. Thanks for the clip snail. Let's go to these planets. Doesn't this really give you a sense of interstellar adventure? I guess so. Oh. Oh no. I don't... Oh no. I really like uh, this. Ah, uh, uh, the French. It's cool that your ship is powered by a Dragon Ball. Yeah. Sure, bring my guy down. I hate you, Mr. Burgard. You're so scary. You're so scary, and you've always got problems. Yeah. Perhaps it would please him to have his corpse! <laughs> Bumper car area confirmed. Uh, no, dude, I literally have... I have your mummy! I have your... the mummy! Why don't I just teleport in the mummy? Okay, I understand that I don't want to traumatize them, but if I need to prove that I'm from the future, I'm like, hey, this is your corpse. Okay, but if I was- that's a pretty futuristic. That's Mind Scrambler, that's pretty futuristic. Wait, uh, do we want to do this? Is this a good idea? Uh, don't have an option not to. Why am I preventing him from being killed? I guess it's like good that his race doesn't get genocided for by his son exploding. But also... He did have a mummy's curse. Yeah, it seems like we've really fucked up the timeline, like, already. Yeah, we are not caring about, like, timeline sanctity. There is none of that here. We're, We're just like... We're only going backwards, so we don't have to worry about the forwards. I will have a job to do, and that's going to the past to see the Big Bang. I do not care about the repercussions of my actions. It's very clear by the fact that I released a horrible criminal and then have to deal with the consequences of that. Thanks, Nightbot. You always know just what to say. Fifi's gone! Where's Fifi? Tucker, where's Fifi? Jacking off. What if... What if... What if the Eviscerator got Fifi? What if the you Eviscerator the got Fifi? Uh, have you been to Sat? Have no. you even seen Sat? No. No. Okay, gotta go to Vista then. 
Go to Vista and ask about tourism. Okay. Once you know how this game operates, it's not that hard to progress without the walkthrough, but sometimes there's these progression like soft walks where it's just like this a thread ends and there is no easy thread to pick up again. Um Yeah. And also uh, a lot of the like once you know the how the game works, which is to say you have to just spam dialogue options until you get the thing that you want. I can't, I can't ask about tourism. Because he just makes me enter the tomb. Maybe... Maybe this was a typo in the walkthrough and they meant Vistar? Can you imagine? What if I'm just like progression locked and I just like can't play the game for now? Because I did oh, because... things out of order. It's not because you did things out of order. This is in the order that the walkthrough recommend. Oh, okay. You know, we're... What the fuck? Uh, I don't know. Go to the uh, the other planet. Not Crazy Stone or Atrox. The, uh, the, the fourth one. Oh, yeah. I haven't been to Magnum in a while. I was just trying to find somebody to ask for tourism information. I don't know. Oh my god. Fuck me. Sorry about that, everyone. My phone started vibrating and it was like next to a bowl on my desk. I will be right back. Hi. Uh, also, hi, Choker. Hi, I'm back. Hi. Oh. My arm is a cheat. Uh, okay. Sorry about that. I got a phone call about houses. I'm looking at houses. Uh, hey, Choker, where the fuck do I go? You're supposed to go to the... See, the walkthrough says, uh, it says, you know what talk to means? Beta Cam 4 here, then agree to defrost Belregard. Use the Mind Scrambler when prompted, then teleport Beta Cam on board. Cool. Uh, go to Vista, ask about tourism, you'll be pointed to SAP. Head there next. Maybe you're meant to ask Beta Cam in the cryo box about tourism?
Did finding Eviscerator's hat, like, progress something or something? I think you found harm earlier than you're supposed to, because that's the next part. Right. It's head to Vistar, talk to Broadcast about everything, teleport him your decoder to get an Ondiant. You'll also meet Hom here. Right. Yeah, and I did Hom Ondiant to give Beef. I gave Beefy the Ondiant, and that got me the hat. Yeah, you got Eviscerator's hat. Travel to Crazy Stone next and teleport the hat to Super Zen. Did you do that? No, I haven't, I haven't done that yet. Uh, I'll go to Cra I'll try going to Crazy Stone after this. Yeah, you go to Crazy Stone Creamery. Yeah. That planet doesn't have good vibrations. The Murphalo intestines are not favorable. Okay, well, I guess let's try going to Crazy Stone, because, uh, if... Uh, it seemed to have fucked up my progression. It's, like, been mostly okay at dealing with that. It's just, like, weird sometimes. It would be funny if I just skipped this beta cam thing and then just ended up with him in my inventory forever. Like, if I just sequence broke. It's kind of like a funny speedrun tech. Yeah, but unfortunately, Echo is the one at GDQ, not us. Yeah. Also, this not be a good speedrun. Well, it's only taken three days. Yeah. Do you want a hat, dude? I don't know why we Wait. would do that. Why would we do I... That's so <laughs> like, bizarre. There's, there's no fucking reason for provided for doing any of the things that we do. No action we take is motivated. Ooh, a hat! Bad oh, vibrations! Bad vibrations! This hat has some real whack vibrations. Hello, who is it? Hello. Is that was probably a chipmunk? Because my mic transforms me into a chipmunk the first time every day I join a call. Yeah, that happens. That's great. Fucking... This game looks great. It yeah. does. That's that's what's really powering us through. Uh, fucking... There is nothing more enchanting yes, than a big the cozy owl hug. I can go shopping. You've never had an owl hug? Riley. Well, sorry to yourself. abandon you, doll. It looks like owl you're, you're is swooping in to duty. give you one right now. But you, like, you, you mean I have to hug out with this silly clown? Yeah, you gotta. <laughs> Don't we want to look you... at these great puppets? I do. I do want to look at the great puppets. I do. I just also want to make a curry for. I promised I'd make a curry for dinner tonight. No, I meant Dom. I wasn't talking about. Yeah, I know you had. To yeah, you can you can have some Dom, but you have to pay for your own plane ticket. I will pick you up from the airport though. Oh, okay. these, these puppets are great. Yeah, check this out. Um, I'm sorry for calling you a silly guy. It is true. It is true. Um, I am okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go do the shopping, and I'll be I'll be back as soon as possible. So probably within like thirty minutes. Okay. Okay. See you then. See you then. I love how like emotive your cursor is at this. Yeah, it's really great. The cursor is like one of the best things about this game. Just this giant 3D low poly cursor. It's really, really amazing. It's, yeah, and it, it's giant, it's 3D, it's low poly, and like it seems to have like a bunch of different like yep. poses it could be in. Yeah, it's like it like fully like it like flows really naturally and also it flicks these balls that the dragon balls that power my ship and i go into the dolphin the cgi dolphin to leave the ship is there a dog in your room <laughs> no it's um my flatmate playing with the kitty okay uh, do you want fun. me to meet violets uh it's not a big deal Rotator. Oh, this guy is Brill. I love this guy. 
His laser pulp would do bad things to my body. So basically, to give you a short rundown of the plot, we're trying to go back to the Big Bang because the guy who made us, because we're like a weird cyborg, uh, wants to see it before he dies because he's like the oldest being alive, but he's in a cryo box so that he doesn't die of old age. This guy is describing how I'm going to die in great detail. Uh, anyway, I... Whoa. So we're going back in time to go to see the Big Bang, so we have to jump in black holes repeatedly. Uh, and at any rate, we are now, like... Oh my god. He's so... <laughs> If there's one thing this game does really well, it's, like, motion. Like, both the 3D and, like, the puppets, they both just, like, move in this, like, very cartoony... Yeah. Like, uh, exaggerated way. Yeah, they're really, really good. Uh, also, there's this scary guy. What the fuck? <coughs> it's in the mummy! Why would we hand over the treasure? I want it. Anyway, so basically we're going back in time to black holes, and the way that we do that is by doing a bunch of fetch quests, and then we unleashed a really dangerous criminal and a fucked up surgeon guy, and then we- they went in a black hole to escape being captured, and then we're following them. Uh, which, sort of very, uh, reckless with the consequences of our actions, but we're going back into the past, so it's fine. We can just fix it. So now we're like a hundred thousand years in the past, and apparently only halfway through the game. <laughs> but it's going been going a bit faster in this. Oh, that's uh, a horrible game. mummy. Yeah, it cursed us for a while. I fucking. I remember I went when I was a bear. I went to the museum and saw the mummy, and I was quite scared because I was just like. I was really disturbed by like that was just a that's just a guy. Yeah. Just a dead guy. You know? It's just a dead guy and they're like showing him off and that and I'm like, that's just a guy. Yeah. And I felt bad because it's like you know, he probably had opinions and stuff, you know. Yeah, uh, probably like, uh, that's like a weird hurts. Yeah. That was like a weird thing I think, but I was like I was like genuinely dumbstruck that like you know how, like, when a kid, uh, conceptualizes death as, like, less, like, oh, this is a body as, like, an object, and more, oh, this is a body as, like, a person that you yeah. don't get to talk to? Yeah, it was like that. I don't want to visit the Tomb of the Great Yolk. Please let me ask you about tourism. <sighs> There's like a thing that I have to do. I have to ask this guy about tourism, but I don't know why I can't do it. Okay, well, I'm gonna get the There's one guy I know uh, that knows more about tourism than anyone else George <laughs> W. Bush. I cursed them with the mummy's curse! Yes! I got them with the mummy's curse! Yes! <laughs> You will <laughs> return the slab. Return the slab. I can't get rid of that curse, bud. You're fucked. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. I cursed all of the Cruelies. They're it's great. we it's good. It's all good.
I can't believe I got him with the mummy's curse. Like, uh, yeah, the treasure, it's in this mummy. Totally, take it. And then I give them the mummy, and then they're all like, ah, the mummy's curse. Classic, classic maneuver. If you have enemies, just get them with the mummy's curse. It's fucked up that the Mummy's Curse is now a recurring FMV bit because it's been in like two games as a heavily present like thing. <laughs> What's up with mummies and curses? And FMV games specifically. Whoa, yay, it's him! FMV. Oh, I love this little dude. Oh, yeah. he's a little elephant! Yay, he's running! Oh, this is a little cartoon. I love this man. Oh, he's he's absolute having a blast <laughs> here at HR Geiger's. Uh, yeah, what was that oh, other skeleton. FMV game. He's nervous. They handcuffed his nose. <laughs> Why'd they do that? His nose conceals uh, the source of his power. <laughs> What's up with mummies and curses in FMV games specifically? T-shirt coming into c store. I want just a the mummy's curse t-shirt. I just want like an image of the mummy and then it says like the mummy's curse. Just saying that. But the thing is, is like... Jerry Seinfeld walking into a cafe. What is up with mummies and curses? Exactly. This is not a horror game and... The last game that the Mummy's Curse was in was sh a, the Centennial Case, a Shijima story, which was also not a horror game. It was a mystery game, and the first mystery that you solve in that game is there's a mummy. And one of the options that you can choose when you're like, because it's like a dynamic mystery solving game where you're like, you come up with a bunch of potential solutions and you can choose which one is right. And one of the options is, it was the Mummy's Curse, and me and Echo found that really fucking funny and kept talking about it and then Echo keeps bringing it up all the time and then this game has a fucking mummy's curse in it you're welcome I don't know why I have to freeze everyone else who's on my ship it feels kind of weird Who's the other guy? I don't know who the dad is. He's not. And, oh, it's Maxon, that's right. Well, I guess, like, should I take you, like, back to the future or whatever? I wonder if I can ask about tourism now. I'm really curious what you meant by I can do that for you, Thea. Are you gonna make me a mummy's curse shirt? The mummy the mummy's curse shirt? Still nothing. I have no fucking clue what to do. I guess I could go back here and take the curse. I love the evil music that plays when you go down to this planet. I 
I have to go through all this again. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that will happen. Yeah, that, that definitely. Honk, he's not gonna actually. Wait, what? What the fuck? Well, I guess I won't free you from the mummy's curse, then. Fuck you. I, like, have the people I was supposed to rescue from the past, but I can't go back to, like, I, there's no black hole to go into to go back to the future. So I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with them. I could put them on their home planet 100,000 years in the past, I guess. It feels like a little fucked up. Because I don't think they're going to live that long. Well, Fifi's back here, at least. Still the same crazy guy he always was. Maybe you want to go planet Malice. Yeah, I'll take you to Malice. I love you, Fifi. You're my favorite. I'm so glad Fifi's joined the party. Wait, I don't know where Malice is. I guess maybe I can ask him. Fifi, where do you want to go? Give me coordinates. Ah, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> this, I love... this little guy is like, he's like something that you'd see in one of Lieutenant Fish's old farm adventures. <laughs> and I know that that's a deep pool, but like, he's like a fucking... What was it? What was it he called the fucking monsters in Atlantic Rim? Gross and Vice and Grittens or something. <laughs> yeah. I think that makes sense. This planet looks kind of... Kind of got weird vibes. I don't know. Kind of like got an evil aura. And I think I mean by that that it's red. Whoa! They're sliding down! Never mind, this planet rules! This planet rules! Beefy! Go have fun with your friends! I've got uh, cookies and milk. I play a sadness clause. Wow. Amazing. Also, apologies if you're gonna hear uh, inst vague instrumentation. My uh, housemate is playing something in the background. I don't think it should come through too much since it's like a string instrument, but... I can play something in the foreground if you want. Uh, what instrument do you have? I've got the bass guitar. Do you know any like cool songs? I wrote one about uh... It's a sea shanty. Where a guy gets murdered. Oh, dang. Yeah, it's fucked up. This is always happening to guys. Especially guys in, like, pirates. Pirate times. Yeah. Yay! Um, but yeah, I could, I could try and play it, but that said... It is a bass guitar, so I don't know how fucking well it'll come over over the microphone. Yeah. It might be horrible. <laughs> so it's probably best not to risk it. Wait, he's gonna tell me- So this- there's this ondient thing that you get, which is supposed to be a picture that shows your greatest desire. Like, and it's like a pretty lady. So it's like a jerk-off painting. 
but apparently this is the place that they, like, get them onto you. Wait, are we gonna see a real-life FMV person? Please, 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 I really want to see- Because there's, like, one live-action actor in this game that I've seen. That, I'm so like, excited. I'm so excited to, like, see what my greatest desire is. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. It's a boob gargoyle. Oh, fuck. It's the Valkyries, um, uh, from... Whoa, yeah! <laughs> this is amazing! I like, I like that she goes between, like, these ethereal, like, poses, and then, like, just this, like, kind of goofy little smile. Yeah, just, like, the it, idle it gives, animation with the, like, edited in blinks. It gives the vibe, it gives the impression that, like, it gives the impression that she's a complete fucking dork. Yeah. Teleporting audience very gently to Ark. What does she look like in the cryo tube? I gotta see that. She doesn't get unfrozen. Sad. <laughs> so what do we like do now? Do you like wanna like watch TV? I got like six channels. Okay, no, you're just gonna go back in the cryo box? Alright, okay. Why do you go in the cryo box? Still no new channels in the POS. POS TV sucks. They haven't invented, invented good... any good ones yet. They've yeah. only invented, um, they've only invented the channel that has a little elephant on it. Yeah, it's fucked up. Where the fuck do I go? I don't know. This is a game where sometimes you finish a quest line and then you don't have any idea of what to do next. That's kind of the whole game. Not all the time, but sometimes. Oh. This planet, this planet, I feel like has much higher CGI budget. Yeah, there's a definitely a mixed bag. I don't want to visit the Tomb of the Great Yoke. I want to ask you about tourism. He, he, he just he's just a fucking he's a, he's a real yo kid and like any time you try and like talk to him he just immediately yeah yeah like fucking is like no you don't want to hear about this you want to hear about my special interest this big yoke yeah big yoke the great yoke was like a guy like a philosopher um also by the way there's basically like no resources for commander blood at all online. It is really hard to find a walkthrough. That's... that's a shame. No love for the bloodheads of this world. Yeah.
Well, I don't know if the game is working, but in the meantime, I'm gonna, uh, do a mini-game. Scrutter Joe, it's time to get some Bionium. So I go inside this robot's brain every so often to get Bionium in this minigame. This completely silent minigame. Well, not completely silent, I guess. I think the silence is to build tension. Yeah, I think they really want you to be tense. Thing is, is that on my first stream when I did this, I started playing a Dire Dire Dox MIDI in the background, and that like really made it great. I might just do that again, honestly. Fuck, I didn't want to quit. I wanted to like pause. I forgot that this is a bad game. <sighs> There we go, okay. Please let me go. I want to get out of this noise. I don't want to have the overlapping music. Okay, there we go. This is gaming. Do you want to know how you control this, by the way? It's with the mouse. You have to, like, push your mouse around and rotate it. Oh god, I forgot. Okay, there's the... And then you left-click to accelerate and right-click to brake. Uh... And the thing is, about this game, is that there's, like, basically just a, a kind of small area where anything in the game is actually happening. So, it's very easy to just end up, like, out of that area. Like, look, not looking at that area. And it's really annoying. Guys are fucking hunting me down. Trying to make me drop my my bionium. My bionium! What the fuck, dude? My bionium! Stop doing that! This sucks ass. What the fuck? My biodium. This is a much better diet I to me.
I was not intercepting that. I was miles away from it, in fact. Oh my god. I'm just colliding with things. Beatboxing I'm puppy. Miles away from. Beatboxing puppy. This game has stopped. Like, this used to be such a peaceful experience. And now there's these fucking guys all the time. This sucks ass. I can't even just fly around anymore with these stupid fucking ships that track me across the whole map. Sucks. Oh, thank God. I delivered it, but I need more Bionium to get a hint. Fuck. Oh, Dire Diradox is kicking. again. Is there any more Bionium around? Have I exhausted the Bionium? Sequence broken it so badly that I can't come back from this. I don't want to have to do all that again. Even if I know what I'm doing, it still just takes a while. Oh, this is so bad. You accelerate so slowly. Okay, I just have to go up because you cannot move past a spinning wheel of objects because if you try to, you will hit them every time. It is following. Or am I just not moving? Am I at the top of the map? I don't know. Cable 2. 
Hey, Arby. It's Gable, too. Punk, what do I do? Mazia can help us. Okay. Thanks for the hint. I did all that for that hint, by the way. That was what that was for? That's how you get hints, is that you have to do that minigame. When does the big scary eel pop out? Uh, I don't know. Is Mazioc actually gonna be here this time? Gah. Ancient free orange. Gah. Ancient free orange. I'm gonna shit. They- you don't go to Vista, you go to Magnu! Why is the walkthrough wrong? Why is the one Commander Blood walkthrough wrong? I wanna make a new one, just to fucking make a walkthrough that's not wrong. This game is stupid. I'm so mad. Oh my god, he just gives you it immediately! <sighs> I didn't click on the thing before it went away. The Trump Tail Hunters. And it vistas where I'm from. It suits me. As the saying which goes, hasta la vista. I'm like going off the walkthrough now. The walkthrough doesn't mention any of this. Alright, two planets. Well, let's go to Sat. Get rid of this fucking guy. Oh, I hate him because he's racist. As in, the character the design is racist. It's French. And the racist one. Not that it's racist towards French people, but that it's a, a French kind of racism. I think there might be roots. I highly doubt there's multiple endings. This game is like so high like concept and is using so many resources like with all the puppets and shit like I think it is not gonna have multiple like gameplay pods. Oh, I'm excited to see these mummies curses. You should post them in Cable 2 art in the Cable 2 Discord. Where the fuck? This guy. Thank you. Careful on test is favorable, yay. Oh hey, just captured out of Dr. Audubon's flat. Yay.
We've had quite an adventure. I'll look at these mummies' curses at the end of the stream. Whoa, this place is so evil now, in the past. It used to be like green and cool, and now it's purple and evil. Like the music is so evil. It literally just looks like they put a color filter over this. I think you're supposed to go to Ikato, like, to find Audubon Smile, but I just didn't need to. I think you might actually be able to, like, do different stuff in a different order. Because, like, I didn't do that. Fucking weird. Well, let's go back to the prison. Wait, I should have saved. Whoops. Whatever. Wait, now I can watch all the better TV channels. I'm in the f Look at the dome. Are you still there? Ah, uh, yes, I'm still here. Watch this. We can watch TV now. We can watch good TV. Like, stomp yeah, the other guy's face a lot. We got Slughead. Red Slughead. And we got last week's winner, Green Mold. Stomp on, guys. Whoa. They're blasting. I love that they're just looping the same animations, because there's about, like, six different poses that these guys can do. I, this is the best part where he crushes him with the bowl and he gets really flat and tiny. Uh, what a great show. Oh, there's also this guy? Um, I think you would like this guy. Oh, I Pete love Toe. this guy. This is a cologne. Yeah. He's a cyber pirate. Petit Pateau the cyber pirate. He looks like a clam robot. Uh, there's also Hate TV, which is a boring show. It's a coolie scrap show. This is a good one, though. Ancient Free Orange. Crates go further in Venusia. Scrut channel, my favorite channel. Scrut channel. Join Scrut on your Scrut. brain. Sea places. Take vacations on the planet. Galabar. Dance techno in the hottest clubs. The night is six months long. Brains over 15 ounces not admitted. Scrut channel. I love you, Scrut channel. Petit Pateau translates to Little Pitiful. That's very funny. Ah, uh, scrap channel. And then there's just that shit. Okay. Well, I'm glad that I can watch good TV now. Oh, it also looks like I can go back to the past at any point. What did my, like, actions... How did my actions, like, affect the present? I actually can't go back to the, the past, it seems, because clicking on the black hole does nothing. Oh, 
Oh, I guess I should go to Rondo to deliver these guys, because they're not, like, they're not at their home planet right now. I do think it's, it's like, a neat thing that the planets are in different places, because they'll just, like, sort of the movement. It's, like, a neat little, neat little tidbit. And also they have different names, and also they look different, but not that different. Let's deliver these guys to their house. Oh, I guess I should talk to them in the cryo box. Yeah, I can drop her off there right now. Yeah, have a good time. Oh, I gotta show you Isolito. Hang on, where is he? This is like the first guy you meet. Wait, is he not there anymore? Is Isolito gone? I'm sad. Oh, well, we got 15 viewers. Thanks for popping in, everyone. This is Commander Blood. Uh, I'd explain what's going on, but frankly, I think you should just watch. It's like, there's a bunch of bullshit. It basically makes sense. Yes, Isolito. Isolito is an Iswal, which means that his name is like, if someone was named Humanito. Oh, he's going to a party. He's going to boss him up. He's going to party with boss him up. I don't know who that is. I think Cortex is the one where it's like the... No, oh, Eden is the one I'm thinking of. Eden is the one that has like a nightclub that you can go to, which is like sick. It's like a beehive. It's like a fucked up beehive. Purple haze. That's the club. Please look at this guy, Dom. Oh, this guy's great. Yeah, one of my favorite guy. He needs his drinky. Uh, where else can we go? I guess let's go to Rondo and find out like how shit's going for them. And then I should go to the concert because I made I helped these guys get into like a band. Uh, there's a bug named Tina Burner who was like that bug that I just showed you, except she had really big red lips. But she should be at the concert by now. Mm. How's my main man? Why are you talking to my AI, Yoko? did it. Delivered them back home. Let's go check out, let's go check out Ekatum. Goodbye, Thale. Thank you for joining. And you might come back and see the end if you're around. Probably gonna raid uh, GDQ after this, because Echo is at GDQ. Not like right, streaming, not like doing a run, but he's gonna be there. The 
the slime guys. You're back. Gelatine, rubber, gooseberry, and latex. Great names for children. Well, I'm glad we saved them. You kids want to see the Big Bang? Wait, I want to see that too! Wait, I want to see that! Wait, take me with you! I want to see that! Take me with you! What the fuck?! Take me with you! Oh, sad. Well, let's go to Mosquito. <sighs> nope, nobody there. Well, I guess let's just uh, go to every planet in sequence until we find the one that is the right one. It's definitely not this one. Talk to Honk. I'm gonna get a hint. Oh, right, yeah, I have this guy, and I can take him to his, um, uh, like his future self. I love how Honk gets so desperate when you don't uh, beat him by any means. It's really funny. I think it was... Is it Hulk? No, it was like a purple thing. Was it Cortex? I think it was Cortex. Whoa! Whoa, is Troco back? Yeah. Well, Troco, we're back in the present. I figured out how to get... You want to know what the fucking problem was? Yeah. You had to go to Magnus. You didn't have to go to the place that the walkthrough said. It was wrong. The walkthrough was wrong! Wow, guess we'll never consult it again. Uh, I went to... So I went to Magnus, and then... I think it was like Magnus, I went to Magnu and then talked to the lady, and then she gave me two locations. He gave me two locations. And then I went oh, to... Yeah. And then I went to... After I talked to them, that, like, triggered the plot event that, like, meant that I could, like, leave. But I... So I delivered, like, Beckatam back to, like, Betacam to a new planet, so he's alive now, I guess. In the present, maybe? Question mark? Oh, so, so there is no mummy anymore? Well, no, I have a mummy. But, well, no, I gave the mummy to the Cruelies in the past to curse them. Ah. Uh, yeah, you missed, I guess you missed that part. So, Eviscerator asks for the treasure back, and then you give him the mummy, and then he calls you saying, We've been cursed! We've been cursed by the mummy! And it's really <laughs> funny. Get on, yeah, losers! Get my mummy, uh, I got you with the mummy's curse, dude. I told, I I'd warned like you about mummies. I'd like to forgive to the whole FMV community for abandoning them in the past, stranding them um, in their in the Forbidden Mystery Vault, in their hour of greatest, yeah. bloodiest need. And I'd like to especially apologize for Dalm, for like, you immediately came in and I fobbed off the responsibility of co-hosting entirely on your shoulders and it's failed. It's not responsibility, I just, uh, I, all I'm doing is chilling and playing Space Station 13 and occasionally saying funny things. Yeah, Dom's chilling. Yeah, cool. it's not, like, like, it's not a responsibility, it's no pressure. You know, weirdly enough, this is kind of Space Station 12. Uh, <laughs> Space Station 13 evolved step by step out of this game. Yeah, I wouldn't... Yeah, I wouldn't put it by. I think that's pretty solid evolutionary history. Um, but yeah, so we gave 
it eviscerated their mummy's curse, and it was really funny, and I laughed about it a lot. And then we... There was also... So I could go to the slime planet, and I think you might be able to find Otto von Smile there if you, like, do things in a different order, maybe? Question mark? But I didn't do that. He wasn't there. But I could just leave. And so I went back to the present. And I delivered the, guy, the Iswals to Rondo. This is all just, like, nonsense pearls. Um... And now I'm gonna go talk to the brain guy. The funny squid. Right, from uh, Mystery Science Theater 2000, the brain guy. Yeah. He's not here. I'm getting a phone call. This is Crandobu, Space Knight of the Stars. Big bang. Well, I guess. I guess to... we're both fucked. Well, now what? Well, hang on. What happened to the fucking. Cruelies after I like. Did the Cruelies War still happen after I got them with the Mummy's Curse? I don't think this game is gonna deal with that. Eh. I, I give it even odds, honestly. So I guess this is a scrut planet now. You won't see prisoner. Yay. I like that the code is still code. Yeah, and they're not too smart. Hey, Viscerator. How's it feel to be cursed by the mummy's curse? All these many years later. <laughs> No, I just wanted to laugh at you. Oh. oh. Yeah, talk re reproduction. Reproduction, hot babes. Laugh, 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 swear. Me like muscles. Ah, uh, a man of culture. A man, a man of culture. Do I have to teleport? Me like slurp. Me big cruelies. What the fuck? Troka, can you look at the warp there? Oh god, I don't even know where you are. Uh, oh wait, no, you just returned to the present, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh... I dropped off Yoko and Max on to Rondo. I did that already. Okay. Did you talk to Yon, Yoko? Yes, but I didn't really have much to talk about. Is there the okay. same thing that I have to talk about with him? No, it just says talk to Yoko on the surface. Okay. Uh, did you go to Colt? No. Okay, that's where you need to go. Uh, 
Uh, looks like the next step after this is basically just go around checking in on everybody. Okay. Uh, like you go to Corpo to talk to Isvolito, Mosquito to talk to Bronco. I did talk to Isvolito already. Okay. The planet's inaccessible. There are too many pilgrims. What? It's Planet Tumble with a new name. Oh shit. When we saved Beta Camp 4, King of the Patagos, who altered history. Pilgrims are flocked into the voice that saved Beta Camp and his people from the catastrophe. But, but you're the voice. Yeah, I did that. Burgard, what do we do about this? Okay. He's like, oh, I'm so tired. Okay. Uh, mosquito to talk to Bronco. I have. Uh, Bronco's I don't think these shit. are. I don't think these are um, listed in any particular order. Yeah, isn't Bronco on the ship though? Well, different Bronco, right? This Bronco was born diff different. Well, time tra who knows what their model of time travel is? Yeah, I guess so. I just created a second Bronco by going back in time. And then coming back, yeah. This is a Bronco. He's shelling his... No, don't shut the store! Oh, he's going to party. Oh, yeah, the Isvalido was also going to a party. Yep. This is the, the this walkthrough says go around to check in on everybody. They're all going to a party. I see. Uh, now go, Eden to talk to Amito, Venusa to talk to Bug Deluxe, Ecotome. Ekato, Ek, These are all options. It's basically go places. Let's talk to Bug Deluxe. I did go. I did talk to the guy at Purple Haze, Eden, and he said he wanted a drinky. I do think it's funny that it's just like, hey, talk to everyone. Oh, we found the human actor, by the way. Oh. Uh, the it's the ondient but real, the like the thing you most desire. They exist apparently. Oh. And it's that lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, isn't 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 she what you most desire? I have Scrutter Scrutter Joe isn't dead. I literally didn't. Scrutter Joe was fine. He's just a new person who's helping me instead. Anyway, this is the... Fuck, I told to burn for instead. This is the only one. Please look at the talk sprite though. You want a little kiss? Honk, I really don't know. If... 
Yeah, I am curious, did they film someone swimming? Um, like, they, they put underwater film in this FMV game? They have to have. That's really neat. Uh, okay. So I guess let's go to... Troma? I haven't been to Troma yet. Me bathing in the soothing waters of old CGI FMV games. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, I already went to Master Truck. I went to Vulcan. I went to Mosquito. I went to Ectum. I went to Eden. I went to Cortex. Do, 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 do. I haven't been to Eraser yet. I want to see if I can. What about like... Ekatom? I've been to Ekatom. The slime family went to go see the Big Bang, but wouldn't tell me where they went. Ondiant, do you want to go hang out with, with the Eviscerator? Because he said he really likes Ondiants. Okay, it's just gonna be this again. I wish I could skip this in any way. I like the blinking. Yeah. And yeah, they absolutely filmed this underwater. Or like, no, they just had somebody in like, an aquarium and they filmed them on the other side of some glass. <laughs> Okay, uh, where the fuck is next? Do you know what other planets I have to visit? Uh, yes. Let, let's go to the list. Cult, Corpo, Mosquito, Eden, Venusia, Ecatome. Okay, I've visited all of this. Okay, and then it says eventually you'll get a call from Cran Dubu. Oh, I got that. Okay. And he said he'd meet Return... me in the black hole. Oh, okay. Return to Cortex. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got that ages ago. Before we'll I talk even to home. Return to Cortex and talk to home again to get coordinates to Cyber Rock. Okay. Yeah, because I went to Cortex, like, really early, because I was like, I want to go tell Hom that I have a version of him from the box. Because that's fun. But he wasn't there. Because I hadn't done this. Yeah, because you hadn't talked to everybody else in the fucking galaxy what the first. He's not here. Maybe you have to talk to the Hom in your inventory. Oh, yeah. I guess I did steal him from the box. Yeah, you didn't put him back. So yeah. he's not there anymore. <laughs> Out of your mind! What the fuck? He's gonna meld into the Azure cyber world. No. We just experienced poetic creation. We just froze him again? Is he still Where there? Did he go? No, I, I, I bet he's on the planet now. That's so fucking stupid! Hey, buddy, I know you just left, but do you want to talk? Welcome, stranger. Stranger?
Why are I you? I love like food. you. I love this guy's us. fucking face. It's horrible. This is such a stupid fucking joke. They, they, you put, you click really hard to get your fingerprint on the mouse. They do it three times. Yeah. It was funny the first time. Okay, so now he's just like a different guy. Hey, what's up? I'm back from the tax mines. Oh, hey, Naya. I hey, Naya, we're, we're commanding blood. I have to study cyber knowledge on planet CyberArk. Ready for another test? Oh god, I really hope I don't have to answer more, like, lore questions about the game. Think you do! Uh -huh. It says next in the walkthrough is go there and take the universal revolutionary omniscient ubiquity test. I see. To get a diploma. So, odds oh, are... Shit, this is going to college? Yep. Yeah, odds are this is going to be... It's going to be just like when you went to college. Yeah, yeah, I went to college on the big graphics drive. Yeah, on the big fucking RAM chip. Mm-hmm. But they say girls go to college to get more knowledge. Sure. Okay, Honk, you already said this last time. Uh, this is a new guy. Uh, no, this guy was in. Well, I guess you new to you. Uh, this guy was. Our, we did another exam earlier to get the dork diploma. Um. <laughs> And I remember this one. This lady was the test taker. Yeah, this was, um... That was Yoke. I don't know anybody's name. Yeah. You've been boning up. Yeah, I've been boning Famously up. Famously, oh, so that's a, that's a pun. Let's make Naya take this test. She's the college girl. Now, that's also Yol. Don't put me on the spot. I just got here. And I definitely don't know the answers because I don't put... I mistapped this game. Yeah. Exactly. But you have a degree, and they, that, they, they... That's not fun for me. You, they teach you this stuff in college, right? No. But but I thought girls go to college to get more knowledge. Is this not the knowledge? It's not. It's not. I learned how to... I learned how to do journal entries. Fuck. And balance debits and credits. What the fuck has a... That's like a really personal question. Why is that on the exam? The Great Yolk is a slimer. Tina? I don't know. Not Tina. Emasculator isn't a character. Ugh. Actually, I'll be back in a bit. I need to make myself some food. That's okay. Who the fuck is... Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm not making Daya food right now because I'm in this stream, which is more important. Yeah, so now I have to fucking go make a pot of macaroni cheese. Damn. Oh, really? A whole pot before curry? Three. That's the Lord. That's the Great Yolk. You remember so much about Yolk. I just went to the museum on him. Yay! I passed it. Yay! Gifts for me. This one is a lot less catchy. The U route, a lot less uh, a lot less funny. Maybe it's like a French joke. Anyone gets a French joke?
Watch out for Fred's jaw. Welcome, stranger. You'd be big traveler. It's getting on my nose of this print. Did it again. I'd love to catch Prince. Prince was the name of my cat. Never did catch him. Too slippery. <laughs> you see a oh, big thing. you finally fucking got it! Oh, is this just the end of the game? I guess we you've did got it. The, you've got the coordinates to the Big Bang. I didn't save it all in the boss. Like, I saved once at the end of it. I can't go back to the boss. I, like, didn't make a save in that universe. Which is sad, because I like the guys. Oh my god, there's a ship called the Big Bang. Is this where the party is happening? I think there, yeah! Talk to Bronco in the cryo box, then talk to Bob in the cryo box. Oh, okay. I don't know why it asks you to talk to Bronco. Oh, he wants to party. What the fuck, Honk? We're going. Lonely. Please tell me this means that we can get Honk. We can get rid of Honk, too? Yeah, that would be really nice. Out of which world? <laughs> oh. Hey, Bob. Whoa, what? No, well, I don't really like Hog, but... What the fuck? Uh, okay. Bob, why are you just, like, waking up out of cryo? Why are you, like... You haven't been helping at all this whole time. Now you pop up? Also, you're kind of scared. Bob. Let's go to the Big Bang. I guess let's go to the Big Bang. It literally says Big Band Club on the out. Yeah, it's a Big Band Club. It's Bug Deluxe. Oh shit. Fuck yes, concert! Just in case you didn't get it. Just in case you didn't get it. Frankly, fuck Captain Bob. I don't give a shit. Captain Bob just keeps waking up on his own. No! Don't put me in the cryo box! No! You can't do this to me! No! 
Uh, now you gotta talk to Bob again. Bob, I hate your ass. You haven't helped me at all! I've been doing so many puzzles and fetch quests, you haven't done anything! No! Clearly We're not! Working on it. We're working on it! We're fucking You're working on it! Just stay in cryosleep and stop aging! <laughs> uh, how you just go back in the cryo box and we'll get you there eventually? Like, you're asleep the whole time. It's not like it matters. Why the fuck are the AI... <laughs> this is a really great joke. I'm really loving this bit. Goes on forever. That's literally never been a thing. Maybe it makes more sense in French. It might make more sense in French. <laughs> it's a literal bug. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bob, Big man, what do you help. want? Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> I hate everybody on this ship! They all just bicker! <laughs> Beauregard's fucking leaving! Bob Morlock is like, no, you get back in the freezer. Go! Oh my god. Ugh. I hate my job. I wanted to go to see the fucking performance of Tina Burner and Migrator. I'm sad. The walkthrough doesn't say that you have to drop Beauregard off. Well, but I, he told me to do it. But I need to drop Beauregard off. But we're in the cryo box. Me when I'm regarding my bow. Okay. Well, what do you think of it? Huh? What do you think of it? Uh, th that was that was the mode, on the on the on the screen. That was me when I'm regarding my bow. Yeah. What do you think of your bow? Good. Huh? Is that all? Yeah. Uh, Tumble is cult now, and I can't bring Beauregard there because he doesn't actually seem to care. What the fuck do I do? Well, well uh, you're supposed to... The walkthrough at this point is basically just... Uh, by now, you should get a call from Hannah Scruta. If not, you may have to visit a few more places. Oh, oh I already got sense. that. I already got that because okay. Scrooge Joe likes Scrooge Joe's wife. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you got that. You got that. 
return to the Big Bang, where you should now meet Bug Deluxe, go to the cryo box and talk to Bob again. Now return to the Big Bang again. And then and then leave and come back another time. Oh my god. Yeah, Tina Burner. You look you look nice. Tina Burner is the best. Yeah, I love her weird laser eyes. Well, I'm glad you guys uh, hit it off. Shut up, Honk! You're ruining our chances! I'm not gonna homewreck her! Yes! Yes! You're right. I did. I did run that poll to ask if you were a homemaker or a home wrecker. Or yeah. Home oh. Yeah. Let's talk to migrator. Yeah. Shut up, Hawk. I'm talking to my good friend. Yes! I love that! Shut up! Actually, Teen Burner would probably like a nose ring. Yeah. Wait, I have to get one? Wait, that's not how that works! <laughs> Alien weddings, Riley. Alien weddings. <laughs> so I don't have that. So, what? This is the last puzzle. Do you want me to just tell you what you have to do? I know Scrutter Joe's wife called me, so maybe I can steal her ring? But I don't know where she is. Nope, that's wrong. Okay. What is it? I have no other ideas. Alright, let me give you a hint. Um, would you say that you desire a ring? That's exactly right. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna turn you into a ring real quick. Please become a wedding band. Okay. Guess it can't be done yet. What the walkthrough actually says... What the walkthrough actually says is return to the Big Bang, Tina Burner and Migrator are here. Period. Come back again to talk to Yoko. Oh, okay. And then return to the cryo box and talk to Onda Yen to get the ring. Sorry for trying to sequence break. Oh, okay. Nope. Oh. Did it. Okay. Who's a little fibber? Mr. Bronco's like, how could you cheat on me like that? Now you can marry the Ondiant. Just give her the ring right back. <laughs> I guess I'll just see the TV show live, because I'll just like go there. I should save now, I think, because this is like I feel like we're getting to a climax. You almost hit menu again. Yeah, I did. Yeah. 
Yoko. I love you, Yoko. You're a great little guy. I got one. Don't worry about it. It's the big band. They already have a band. The whole thing is a band. <laughs> Yes! Oh, Fifi's here! I fucking love Fifi. I fucking love Fifi! Yes, this is, there's a whole crowd of the little guys! I, li I kind of like this resolution of being like... Oh, you want me to get rid of... Honk? Yeah, I'm gonna... I wouldn't mind getting rid Shut up, Honk! Oh my god... Honk?! You're ruining my chances! Bob, can you disable You're Hawk? A wedding. I wish we had any input on this. Yeah, I hate you, Hawk. Hawk, you're a huge asshole. Tina does not deserve this. She's just a bug. You're a huge asshole, and you've mostly been wrong. Hawk. Yeah. He's not even smart. He doesn't help me. Honk, you didn't want to go. You didn't want to be there. Why did you, why are you sad that you didn't get invited now? You didn't want to be there in the first place. Piece of shit. Okay, at least we get this shit now, which is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. The floating guys. Bob Warlock's watching. <laughs> so is Bo Rickard. Okay, but look at this though. This is beautiful. It's just standing there doing nothing! <laughs> oh, it's amazing! Turn this shit up. Crank it. Do we give up this level of intensity? We need yeah. you to animate a full concert only ever a few three frame gifts of aliens. You hit things to an album. Sounds great. Well, that's Commander Blood, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I do like how it is like the plot that you are nominally on is just a wild goose chase that goes nowhere. And it's really about the friends you made along the way. I hated most of them! <laughs> you hated most of the, the friends? I guess I mostly hated Hawk. I just... 
Uh, yeah, Honk was the most detestable character, and also the one that you were, like, stuck with. Sewed to the hip of for the entire game. Yeah. Um. That was a video game. In and it sense. was called Commander Blood. Called Commander Blood. Uh, it. Thanks to Kirsty's mom. Yeah. It did a lot of things, and I appreciate Congratulations! The... You won! Congratulations! You won! I won! Uh, so, the game just closed. <laughs> <laughs> no fanfare. Nope! It's closed. That's the thing! Is it, like, the end- Like, the ending song is kind of, like- It's, like, neat that it has all the alien speech in it, but it's, like, it's- The m instrumental is too loud, and it's, like, mixed really poorly. So it's like there's this so there's this like ending song that feels kind of anticlimactic, and then it's just like the end, and then it just does credits, and then the game closes. Well, yeah, it's literally just like, yeah, we didn't resolve the plot threads, but we did have a big dance party, and <laughs> it's over, which is like literally the kind of plot resolution I think they've used as a joke in The Simpsons. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, <laughs> yeah. Just, just a big dance party at the end. I don't think this moves the needle on how good a game this is, but it provides a good baseline. Uh, what, what do you think our next game is going to be, Riley? Well, the thing is, is that... Is it still DOS Ember? <laughs> Fuck no, it's January. Fuck you, it's January. Uh, I don't know thing is i have a lot of games that i could go with but my calendar isn't working pretty soon it'll be the anniversary of fmv so i kind of want to start doing fmv's greatest hits uh but the thing is is that i was gonna do stonekeep but commander blood took way too fucking long and also i had to skip a week because i've been really busy this month it only took three streams overall i um, expected it to take like two or one I didn't expect yeah, to be the as streams as well. are extra spaced out. Yeah. Uh, when is when is FMV's and where when is Forbidden Mystery Vault's anniversary? Exactly. I don't actually know the exact date the FMV premiered. I need to look it up. I see. Well, maybe let's not make the programming decisions live on air. Then. Yeah, I can decide it later. But yeah, on FMV's anniversary and maybe a little bit before it, I'll start doing some uh, old games. I'm thinking that. Maybe I could do a couple of, like one stream games that I think I could do in one stream next time, like next time and then the time after that, which makes me think that I kind of want to revisit Mirage maybe because I think it's almost it's almost been a year since we played Mirage. Yeah, just about just yeah. about a year since we played Mirage and Mirage is. I don't think Mirage is going to be the same a second time through because the first time not. was was fucking delirious and like. Now that's we why, know what's there. That's why I gotta get someone else on who hasn't seen it before. Yes, yes. We gotta get, like, uh, uh, like, Thale or um, Maxwell Elvis. Yeah, maybe No, Kelly. I think Maxwell Elvis was there. I might get Kelly. My, we'll see what we'll see what's happening, see if anyone from Cable 2 wants to pop in. But yeah, but things are gearing up for the anniversary of FMV. I'm also moving at the end of next week. So yeah, she's moving to France. I'm not moving to France. I would never do well, that. She's moving to a francophone area. She's moving to Canada. I'm not doing that either. I'm moving to the same city. I'm just moving like locations. Because my house is getting sold. Yeah, the same city in Quebec. Dom, that was so loud. Oh, sorry. Do you want me to do it louder? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. Don't do that. I'm going to end the stream if you do that. Earliest FMV on the calendar is March 14. I don't think I put it on the calendar from the start is the thing. I think that goes as a good date, especially because it gives us like uh, a good like time. it gives it gives us some lag time to play one more fresh game. At yeah, least. that's true. I could play Stonekeep in that time, probably. What, so, which is Stonekeep is Stonekeep the uh... it's a first person dungeon crawler that I've been wanting to visit for ages. I bought it ages ago and I haven't played it. Um, so, 
uh, yeah, I'll I'll look back on Tumblr posts to see what my first Tumblr post for Cable 2 was. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Before we go, I want to show off Cape, uh, Thales Cable 2 fan art. Oh! The Mummy's Curse. Which is a beautiful. This is some really great stuff. I really wish copying images into OBS ever worked for me. I think it's because I'm not I don't have Firefox open as an administrator. Okay, if I run as an administrator, can I drag these images in? Or will I just have to do it the wrong way? You can't run OBS as an admin if you want to drag in images if I remember correctly? Yeah, okay. Fucking whatever. Just gonna fucking... Open up a web browser and stream it. Yeah. I've done that before. Check this shit out. The Mummy's Curse. Mummy's Curse. That's sick as hell. Oh, that is, that is sick as hell. Uh, and then that's not only. There's also this one. Mummy, Rich Mummy Richard Curse. Beautiful. I think this one's my favorite. First FMV VOD on Archive Channels is March 7th. Okay. Um, this is like... This is like... That could go on a t-shirt. These could this, go on like t-shirts or stickers. This could be merch. This is this is merch quality. Uh, I'm petitioning this to be first FMV Cable 2 merch. Mummy Wretched Curse. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go... Do other things. Thank you all for watching. Oh, wait, I gotta read GDQ because it's GDQ time. Uh, and yeah, they, they really need the they really need the um, <laughs> I'm not doing it out of that. I just want to watch GDQ. To the lady. Is um, Here's is Echo on right lady. now? No, but Here's it is there. The Thank you, Dean Ye Wu. Here's, Here's to, to the, the lady. Ladies. Let's hear it for the girls. Let's hear it for the ladies. Small indie charity GDQ. Yeah, next time let's raid like uh Germa. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll get followers that way. I don't know. Uh okay. Goodbye for now.